This is part three in our series of lectures on section 3.4 on ordering relations. And in this lecture, I'm just simply going to tell you a very important property of the real numbers. It's known as the completeness property of the real numbers. So we're viewing the set of real numbers uh, with the partial order less than or equal to. It's actually more than a partial order. It's actually a linear order because any two real numbers are comparable. Um, for any two real numbers, one is less, uh, at least one of them is less than or equal to the other one. So we haven't really defined what is meant by the set of real numbers. It's a rather complicated object, and it's the object that you work with when you study calculus. But there's one really important property, a very deep property of the real numbers, which we refer to as the completeness property of the reals. And all I'm going to do in this very short lecture is just simply tell you what that completeness property is. It's a very deep property of the set of real numbers, and it's really the property that makes uh, the theorems of calculus true. If, for example, we decided to do calculus, but not on the set of real numbers, but rather just on the set of rational numbers, we would find that most of the important theorems um, of the subject are just simply not true. You would be unable to prove them. So here it is. It's a very innocent looking statement. It says, every non-empty subset of the reals that has an upper bound has a least upper bound. That's all the, the uh, completeness property says. If you have a subset of the reals which is non-empty and has an upper bound, in other words, there exists some number that's bigger than or equal to every element of the given set, then it's automatically true that the least upper bound of that set exists as a real number. So that's all that I wanted to say in this particular lecture. So read the, read the statement again, memorize what it says, and we're going to make use of it in the next lecture.